Okay then, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some text, uh, which is different from the version that I've currently got. So let's just add a paragraph or two of Laura Mipsum. Okay, that's one. Um, that'll do for the time being. Okay, just... Okay, so you can see here that we've got this big block of green down here. So what that means is, and if I go back up there, um, it's actually, I haven't saved it, that's why. Okay, so I save it, and then I've saved the file. Um, now, ordinarily you would do a good chunk of work before you committed it. So let's say you do like adding a slider or building a contact form or something which was sizable, and then you would commit all of that. You wouldn't really keep committing these very small amounts of code. Uh, or these changes. Um, I'm only doing it for the sake of this video to demonstrate, okay? So here is my new application enhancement and I'm ready to commit, okay? So I've done the changes. Git knows that there's some changing going on because it's, it's gone blue. Um, I'm going to press git commit. And I'm gonna say uh, added amazing new uh, function a l i t uh, on the home page uh, okay done and uh, it's just going to be affecting the home page that looks all good i press commit and that's now in the local repository so that's in your laptop or in on the your kind of computer uh, next thing I'm going to do is look at the index page and just check what happened there. Look, so I don't see any paragraphs here on the remote, right? So what we need to do is push these changes that we've just done uh, up to here um, for other people to look at. Okay. So what I'm going to do, oops, sorry, I've just got rid of that. I'm going to I'll go to the project above it. I'm going to press uh, remote and I'm going to press push. So it will re should remember, I don't know why it keeps defaulting to that top one. It's not the actual correct address, but I'll um, just do that in there. Okay, and I'm going to do next. There is only one branch at the moment, so I'm going to push that up. Okay, done. Okay, so that now, if I was to refresh this, you'll see the index page now has a bunch of paragraph tags which go on forever for some reason there. Okay, never mind. So um, we can see that um, uh, the index page has changed and we are um, able to push changes up and you'll see that it didn't change, uh, there is only one file to change, but if there was other files there, um, like say a, like a CSS file, it wouldn't change that. It only changes and pushes the changes to the files that that commit um, is relevant to. So if you don't change the CSS file, it will only put the commit message here on the file that it does change. Okay, so that's it.